and this is going to be take two of this video. This video is about Biocom Pro for Digital Combat Simulator DCS. An amazing little piece of program for multiplayer or single player, either one. Love it. it it's just, and not enough can be said about it. So Hollywood, if you're listening to this, not that you would be because I'm not that popular, but thank you so much for making this awesome program. Anything that can be done to make our flight sim time more immersive, the better. Well, with that said, I was having an issue with, for the past few weeks, with uh, the comms menu in DCS when I would go into the cockpit flashing on and off in the upper right-hand corner. And I posted on the forums, and Hollywood even in the beginning said, look, it's an install path issue do this and I did everything he asked me to do and it still didn't work um, and, I, and I wasn't working on it constantly for the few weeks but on and off you know I'd go back in and I'd look at it well it wasn't until uh, a, a flight mate of mine in the group that I'm in CSG1 if you guys are looking for an awesome unit to join uh, and I'll put the link for our unit down in the description um, he actually figured out it is an install path issue, but this is what was going on. I did a custom install for DCS. So if I can get this, well, what's going on here? <laughs> Let me try this. I did, I did a custom install for DCS. And it's under F, DCS world. F is my SSD drive. It's dedicated to DCS. Uh, but it's under DCS World. Well, under that DCS World, what I didn't realize, this is what I was pointing the path to. If you if you go to Viacom Pro and you bring up the configurator, which is um, Control-Alt-C, see up here, brings up this, and go into Configuration, there's a, there's a thing here where you can click Use Custom DCS Path, and if you're using the open beta, just check this box. I I did this but it was pointing to just DCS World. What Yomo figured out was the actual install was under the 2.5 folder that you see here. Uh, and th that was my issue. It wasn't, it wasn't installing, it was a, the, the Lua that needed to install for this, this part of it was thinking that, you know, it, it's here and it couldn't find what it needed, so I was having the issue. So that was the fix for it. I just pointed it to the right path. Now, on an update, if you have a custom install, when you update DCS, which we do every couple of weeks now, it's going to do it again. You're going to go in and it's going to begin flashing. Uh, I don't know what it is about the update, but it changes something that you kind of have to go through things again. All you have to do with the game not running is just re confirm like what I'm doing here that it is that, that this is pointing to the right folder so I'm physically going in and making sure that this is pointing to the correct folder and then hitting OK uh, and you see right here right up the top I picked it up custom death uh, path DCS path is set to DCS world slash 2.5 because I had the issue again with the update yesterday I went in brought it up and the menu was flashing except this time it was really flashing quickly uh, I shut down the game went in here did, did what I just showed you fixed it immediately uh, so if you're having that issue that's the fix for it it's because the the install paths don't know where to put the Lua files um, yeah so that's that's pretty much it if you have any other questions let me know. Um, if you're having Viacom Pro issues, go to the Viacom Pro site or forums on DCS uh, on the DCS World page, which I have that here in English. It's under Input Output, and it's at the very top. Viacom Pro plugin for Voice Attack. If you haven't purchased this software yet, it's definitely worth it. It works with Voice Attack, which is about eight or nine bucks, maybe a little bit more. And then Viacom Pro, which I think is about the same thing. Uh, I think I paid like 
12 13 bucks for the entire package which includes a a chatter um, set too which I don't have installed for this but it's it's some nice background so that's it for strike at the moment if you guys have any questions let me know and uh, see you soon